Good morning. It's Monday, September 18th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Contagious Faith, and our scripture is Hebrews chapter 11. It was by faith that Moses' parents hid him for three months when he was born. They saw that God had given them an unusual child, and they were not afraid to disobey the king's command. It was by faith that Moses, when he grew up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to share the oppression of God's people instead of enjoying the fleeting pleasures of sin. He thought it was better to suffer for the sake of Christ than to own the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking ahead to his great reward. It was by faith that Moses left the land of Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He kept right on going because he kept his eyes on the one who is invisible. It was by faith that Moses commanded the people of Israel to keep the Passover and to sprinkle blood on the doorposts so that the angel of death would not kill their firstborn sons. It was by faith that the people of Israel went right through the Red Sea as though they were on dry ground. But when the Egyptians tried to follow, they were all drowned. The entire life of Moses is encapsulated in the word faith, and yet the story of Moses' life is not primarily about one man's faith, but rather how faith is honored by God's validation and passed along to others who need to know a faithful God. Moses is the story of contagious faith. A man who helped pass along the faith to me when I was still in elementary school described how one acquires faith as more like plunging into rather than grabbing it as you would pick up a baseball bat. This is because a bat becomes your possession. Plunging into faith means you're surrounded by it, possessed by its essence, and carried along where it will lead. You read the Exodus account, you'll see that that's so in the way Moses led and encouraged Israel. The process with Moses grew and tested his faith throughout his life. Born to Hebrew parents, released to God's care in a basket floating down the Nile, found and adopted by Pharaoh's daughter, raised in the palaces of Egypt's dynasty as a prince, Moses eventually discovered his heritage and turned his back on the riches of Pharaoh's kingdom in favor of the suffering he would find with slaves. This image, and how the writer to the Hebrews casts it, brings into view one further analogy from baseball's core truths, keeping your eye on the ball. Anyone who has ever had a baseball coach has heard these words. When you step up to the plate for your turn at bat, it's with the intention of hitting the ball so you can run the bases. It's easy to get distracted with the crowd cheering or booing. The catcher will engage you in conversation if he can to keep you from concentrating on hitting the ball. The pitcher hides the ball until the moment of release so you can't see what he's up to. The sun can get in your eyes or the waving trees beyond the fence can draw your attention from the one task for which you've practiced, learned, and are standing there facing nine opposing players to smack that ball into the middle of next week. And it won't happen if you don't keep your focus on that little white ball with red stitches holding it together, screaming towards home plate at 80 to 90 miles an hour. Keep your eye on the ball. For you today, keep your eye on the ball. This is what faith whispered in Moses' ear when the crunch time arrived. Would it be a life of luxury served on a gold platter in Pharaoh's house or a hard walk in slave sandals? The ball, in this case, was a question that every person on planet Earth must answer eventually. Who are you going to serve? If you want to serve Pharaoh with this world's approval and treasures, you will not serve the King of Glory. Jesus has the last word on that. 
Luke chapter 16. No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.